Obama also said, you know, there's been talk that we should convene a conversation on race. I haven't seen that that to be partic particularly productive when politicians try to organize conversations. They end up stilted and politicized, and folks are locked into the positions they already have. By the way, we're a little bit ahead of the curve here, Mr. President. We're going to do this tonight on Hannity, 9 Eastern. And we have people of all political points of view on the Fox News Channel. That conversation is going to take place tonight. Maybe you'll be watching. But it seems that that the politicizing of these things, that kind of fits exactly what many people now, politicians and others, are now doing. They make up their own facts about the case. They don't care about the evidence presented. None of them seem to know what the law of Florida is or the facts of the case or the circumstances involving this. And they don't seem to want to know. You know, the politician who is, um, you know, who's quick to stick his nose in all of this first, you know, the police acted stupidly. You know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. You know, now the president say Trayvon could have been me 35 years ago. Oh, that's this is a particularly helpful comment. Is that the president's admitting that? Well, I guess because what? He was part of the Chum gang and he smoked pot and he did a little blow. I'm, I'm not sure how to interpret that because we know that Trayvon had been smoking pot that night. I'm not sure what that means.